Hey, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and today we're going to make a cute little miniature shim tree. Thank you for watching, and I hope you follow me on other social media. You're going to need some jumbo craft sticks, some paint, something to cut them the sticks with, some ribbons, and some greenery, and some embellishments. I'm starting off by taking three of the jumbo craft sticks, and I'm going to snip off the ends that are rounded, so where they're square at the end, they're flat at the end. Do that on all three. And then I'm going to take them and I'm going to lay them out in measure so I can find the center. These sticks are 7.87 inches long. And so after I cut the ends off, they're about 7 inches. So I'm going to find the center and then I'm going to cut them in half. And you can do this with any size craft sticks. Just find the center. So then I'm going to cut these in half with my snips. You can do it with a regular pair of scissors. They cut pretty easy. Okay, so now I'm going to lay them out, and I'm going to kind of offset them maybe an inch, half inch, something like that, to where it looks the same on both sets, because you'll need both two sets of three. And these are going to be each side of your miniature little shim tree. So I'm just making sure I kind of got them offset and it's going to look right. So it's going to look like this. So now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to start by gluing my sticks together. And you're going to do all three the same way. So see how I have them offset about three-fourths of an inch to an inch? And then I'm going to take my other set, and I'm going to do it the same way, and I'm kind of lining them up next to each other so I can kind of offset this, this set the same as I did the first set. Does that make sense? So they kind of look the same. So that's what you're going to have. So now I'm going to try to um, configure it to where I want my angle of how the pitch on my tree. So I'm putting some glue at the very top of the one of the sides. And then you're going to have to sit there and hold it till it sets up, okay? And be careful not to glue it to the table because, you know, I'm famous for gluing things to the table. Um, so now I'm just going to put some glue on the top. And I'll take my finger after it cools a minute. And I'm going to kind of smooth that glue out a little bit just so you can reinforce the top, you know, where they're connected together. And then I'm going to go on the inside and put some more hot glue. And I'm going to take my little tool after it's kind of set up a minute and kind of smooth that out so you won't have this big glob of glue, but just to reinforce the top because you are not don't have a lot of surface area to glue it to. And I'm going to go back and do the same thing on the top again, kind of to use the end of my glue gun to kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then you're going to let that fully set up. So now for the bottom piece, we're going to take another one of the jumbo sticks and cut the end off of it, the round, you know, the rounded end. And then we're going to mark it there to so I'll, you know, how wide my tree is. And then I'm going to take my snips and I'm going to cut that off so we have the base of the tree. And then we'll take my hot glue gun again and I'm going to put some glue on the ends and put the bottom piece on. Just like that. You can have to sit there and let it let it set up a second. And then we have our little tree shape. Just like that. It's all put together. So now the next step is I'm going to paint it black. That's my choice of color. You can paint it whatever color you would like. Paint the whole thing, inside, outside, bottom, the whole thing. And now I'm going to take a piece of cardboard and I'm going to trace out so I have my back piece. So I just trace that out. And I'm going to cut this out with my scissors. And I have to trim a little bit. And then I'm going to take my tree and put it on top of the cardboard to see if I need to trim any extra off. And see right there, I, I need to trim that off. So I trim that with my scissors and get it to where I want it. And then I'm going to paint this black. And yes, I probably could have put all this together and painted it first, but I was worried I wouldn't be able to get all of the inside and cover up the brown cardboard. So I just did it separate. But you do it how you want to do it. 
Now I'm gonna put that on and get my hot glue gun and glue right there on the sides and a little bit on the bottom and glue the back on to our tree. And now I'm gonna take some white paint and I'm gonna dip it in there and offload over to the side and I'm gonna dry brush my whole tree. I'm kinda into this black and white Christmas theme lately, so th I'm gonna do this one the way I did my big tree in a previous video. So I'm getting all in there and getting all the little cracks and crannies and just barely having any paint on my brush and just kind of dry brushing all over that. And so now you can either use a spool or you can use something for the trunk. I have these little tree branches from Dollar Tree from a while back and I think I'm gonna use that as my base. But you can use anything you have, a cork, you can use little square blocks from the Dollar Tree, anything you wanna use for the trunk. And you don't even have to have a trunk if you don't want to. Now I'm gonna use this Holographic Illusions Deco Art Glitter that I'm just in love with. It is really, really pretty. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And it adds just a real pretty shimmery. And you get that glitter effect and then your glitter's not falling off everywhere. So it's just, you know, it's, paint. it's basically like Mod Podge with glitter in it is what it really is. But I love it. It gives it such a sheen. And you can't get the full effect on the camera. But it is really, really pretty glitter. So after that's done, I'm going to take a little bit of greenery and some berries and whatever I have. Bits and stuff that I've cut off using other projects that's leftover things. And I'm going to just stick that in there kind of like I want it to look. And of course, then I'm going to hot glue that in there. And you can do whatever you want on the inside of this. Whatever, however you want to embellish it with whatever little things that you have laying around your craft room. Just hot glue that in there. And then I'm gonna take my berries and trim those off. And I save all the little bits and pieces of things when I don't use them in a project and I just have them to the side. I save all those little bits and things. Cause you never know when you might need it for something small like this. So I'm just snipping my berries off and now I'm gonna glue them onto the greenery. Kind of get them placed where I want them. And I'm going to hot glue them down. You know, these little red berries are all the time falling off all your projects. So just save them and put them in a little container. Use them for something like this. All right, got that part done. Now we're gonna put a bow on the top. And this is a bow that I had previously made um, before the video. It's just a little messy bow where I crisscross all the ribbons. Sorry, you can't see that part. I don't know why it's, I did it off camera, but I'm just trying to fluff it up. And I'm gonna take that and put it right up at the top. Sorry, that's off camera. When you're working with the camera overhead, it's kind of hard sometimes to see where you're actually crafting underneath the camera. So I hot glued that to the very tip of my tree and I'm just fluffing out that bow. You'll be able to see the full thing in just a second. And now I'm gonna take a little jingle bell that I have and I'm gonna put that right in the center of the bow and just use any kind of embellishments you have. And I'm gonna glue that right there in the center. And there's our little tree. And this is perfect for like a tiered trays or just a little vignette that you have somewhere in your house. And you can decorate this any way you wish. I hope you enjoyed this craft. Thank you for watching. And I really hope you subscribe to my channel. See you later.